Now I'd like to talk a little bit about fairing the bottom of your boat. That's uh, filling it in so that your thin finish will be smooth over it. The product we make is thin enough where you can't use it to fill bumps and holes. You're going to have to make sure that your bottom is smooth before you put it on. We're going to show you how to do that quite easily. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of here. We haven't, we aren't going to do our uh, fiberglass top here. This has some gel coat on it. You can see there's got some wear from where it hit the seawall a little bit. Some scratches from hitting uh, maybe some flotsam we had, etc. Now with these little abrasions were also on the bottom of our boat. And uh, we uh, have some uh, photographs which will show, uh, for instance, I have a lot of photographs of my canoe bottom which I took down a shallow creek that went over lots of rocks, scuffed it all up, had lots of scratches over a period of time. And we show how to fill those all in and then make them all uh, smooth. And on that particular boat bottom, we used our white uh, Teflon urethane. The reason is we weren't worried about antifouling on the canoe so much. We take it in and out of the water all the time. Uh, but the bottom, we wanted to be very hard. So if we went over more rocks, we'd have a good finish on it. Or if we drag it across the sand or a beach or something when we're canoeing somewhere, that we have something hard enough to repel the to stand up to abrasion. And the nice thing is those nice smooth Teflon bottoms that will slide a lot easier on those rough surfaces as well. Uh, the other photos we have are going to show you uh, different steps on filling in holes. Now, uh, the first year we filled in lots of holes on the keel, lots of holes on the rudder. Uh, you'll see it because it's on a blue bottom as we pointed out before. Uh, and uh, your expectation has to be that you're going to fill a lot of this. It's like car body work. You fill it, you sand it, you coat it. Once you coat it, sometimes you'll see more imperfections. I don't worry about it. I usually sail a boat for a year, and then the next year when I do it again, it gets better and better. We're at a point with this, the fourth year, we painted, we painted three other years. We have almost no imperfections on the bottom anymore. When we go to paint it, I'm going to try to find a few so I can show you a little how to tab that on. But uh, once you've got them filled uh, th and you sealed, uh, the only reason you get more cracks is if you hit something. And the only time we really hit something is at the bottom. Our keel sometimes will run in shallow water and we'll hit some sand or something and uh, take off a little of that. We don't even have any of those problems anymore now that we have four coats of uh, finish on it. Another thing that's common on your keel and rudders is to find some little hairline spider cracks. Uh, that's common in fiberglass. Uh, those you can use glazing technique. Sometimes it takes two or three tries. They're so fine. But a little glazing, sand it, paint it, try it again. On the second or third try, uh, often you'll end up getting it. I see this year when we look at our rudder, we'll find there's really none. It used to have be all over the place. On our keel, I think I see one little one here where there's a big separation where the, where the uh, different sheets of metal join together. But we'll be able to fix that easily. I don't see anything else here. Maybe we'll be able to find a little bit of spot for us to uh, put it on. We glaze it on, we strike it off, we let it harden, we sand it. We might do it a second time. Once we think it's fine, we'll coat it. If we still see it, we can actually redo it right then or we can wait until the next year. Once you put your top coat on, that's what's going to tell you whether you're going to be able to see it anymore. So uh, because our top coats dry so quickly, uh, you can actually do that the same day and re-sand it or re-glaze it and re-sand it without any problem.